We're going to explain how to reset your GrowIt inverter. There are several ways to reset a GrowIt inverter, depending on the model and the type of reset you need. We'll cover the most common methods. One, factory reset, using the physical buttons. Some GrowOut inverters have physical buttons on the device itself. Usually, you'll need to hold down a specific button combination, often involving the power button and another button, for a certain number of seconds. This is usually detailed in your inverter's manual. Look for the section on factory reset or default settings. The exact combination and duration will vary based on your GrowOut inverter model, so consult your manual. After holding the buttons, the inverter will usually beep or display a specific message indicating a successful reset. 2. Factory reset using the GrowOut ShineFone app. If your GrowOut inverter is compatible with the ShineFone app, resetting it is often easier. Open the app, connect to your inverter's Wi-Fi, and locate the settings menu. Look for an option like factory reset, restore defaults, or something similar. Tap this option and confirm the reset. The app will likely guide you through the process. Remember, this will erase all your custom settings and return your inverter to its factory default settings. So make a note of your current configurations if you need them later. Three, partial reset, clearing faults. Sometimes you don't need a full factory reset. If your inverter displays an error code, you might be able to clear it without losing your settings. Check your inverter's display or the ShineFone app for options to clear faults or error codes. The process is usually simpler than a full factory reset. Four, power cycle. Reset. A simple power cycle is often the first troubleshooting step. Turn off the inverter's main power switch, wait for about 30 seconds, and then turn it back on. This can resolve temporary glitches or software issues. Remember to always follow the safety precautions outlined in your inverter's manual, which likely includes information about disconnecting power before carrying out any maintenance or resets. Five, consult your inverter's manual. The most accurate and reliable information will always be in your inverter's manual. The instructions we've described are general guidelines and specific steps may vary based on the model of your GrowA inverter. Your manual will provide model-specific instructions for resets and troubleshooting. If you have any doubts or encounter problems during the reset process, it's always recommended to contact GrowOut support or a qualified electrician. Always prioritize safety when working with electrical